YouTubers. It's Jim from jimsguitarlessons.com yet again. And this is part three of a series on how to play melodically or, or melodic phrasing part three. Hopefully you've watched part one and part two and you got a little out of that. Um, each part we're going to get a little bit more advanced, a little bit more technical at times. And uh, we're going to, again, we're going to focus on chord tones. Chord tones meaning the notes that make the chord. That is kind of the missing element in a lot of guitar players playing is they know their major scales and they can run those things but as soon as somebody plays a G and a C and a G and a C back and forth and they're called upon to do a little improvisation or a solo they kind of tense up and they freeze up and they don't know what to do and they're like well gosh I know this scale but I'm not really sure where to place the notes and what notes sound good over the G and which notes sound good over the C. And that's where a little bit of extra study comes into play, or maybe comes in handy, is we want to get to know the notes from the chord. Not just the scale notes, but the chord notes. Let's call these chord notes or chord tones. Um, from the G chord again, we've got G, B, and a D note. And from the C chord, we've got C, E, and G. And from the D chord, D, F sharp, and A. Now, it's really easy for me to say, okay, go ahead and play those notes and play melodically. Well, one key element that uh, we need to really focus on other than chord notes is rhythm. Rhythm meaning how long do we hold the notes for. Uh, note value, we call that. There's a half note, which lasts for two beats or two counts. So if you're soloing over a G and you hit a G note, you can count to two. One, two, that's your G note. And then maybe go to a B note for two counts. So that would be called a half note as well. So if I play that together, I've got G and a B note played in rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now if I were to play that again but try to express myself a little bit more, maybe a little bit of extra vibrato or a slide, it sounds something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A little bit more expressive. We're putting a little bit of um, salt and pepper on it, if you will. A little bit of spice. We're not playing like a robot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can take the slowest phrase and you can put a little something in there and it makes it sound expressive and musical. So if we were to throw maybe a D in there, this time I'm going to go G for two counts, B for one, and D for one. So this is a rhythm. This is a half note followed by two quarter notes. So the timing on that would go like this. Two beats on a G note. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, B, D, G. Chord notes played with rhythm. Here it is this time with a little bit of uh, expression. Two, three, four. Okay, when it transitions to the C chord, we've got C, E, and G. C, G, E. I can play all quarter notes if I want to. One, two, three, four, one. Or maybe a half note followed by two quarters. One, two, three, two. So again, it's chord notes played with a certain rhythm. Rhythm meaning how long do we hold those notes out for? And how do we place them together to equal four? So we're playing in four or four time, which is most common time. One, two, three, four, one. That's one pattern there. I mean, you come up and play a C here. One, two, three, four. Alright, so the next chord in our sequence is going to be a D chord, which is D, F sharp, and A. If we put some rhythm behind our note selection, uh, again, that's how we phrase. We have to play the right notes, but we also have to play it with rhythm, and we also have to play it with expression. Timing, note choice, expression. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to try to play over top of G, C, and D. I'm going to try to play rhythmically, and I'm going to try to play with expression. And again, we're using chord tones, which chord tones are 
taken from the major scale. Here we go, let's hear that G, C, and D chord. Here's a G. Here's the D. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. G. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Anyways, I kind of over-exaggerated the timing on that. We were playing very slow, very simplistic, but using chord tones in rhythm. That's how you play melody. That's how you play perfect guitar solo or perfect melodies. We focus on the chord tones with rhythm, and uh, you can get a lot fancier down the road. When you're ready, you can put in triplets, which is groups of three. We can put in nodding chord tones and slide in. And uh, I'll never forget your vibrato, your slides, your bends, things of that nature to express yourself a little bit more effectively. So this time we're going to go back to the E minor and C, and I'm going to try to play with rhythm, with my melody. I'm going to try to play um, good chord note choices and uh, focus on uh, the notes that make the E minor chord, which is E, G, and B, and the notes that make the C chord, which is C, E, and G. So it's chord tones with rhythm equals a nice melody. Let's try this. It's going to be E minor to C chord. Here we go. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. There's a C note. There's an E. There's my C note. So I got a little fancy in there. I got up a little higher. I know we're just talking about pattern one of your major scale, but um, as you can see, as you play around on the neck, if you know your scales really well, and as you learn your scales, like I talked about in previous uh, videos, is you want to learn the names of each note from each pattern. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. We know the chord tones for E minor are E, G, and B. We know for C, they're C, E, and G. For G chord, it's G, B, and D. And for the D chord, it's D, F sharp, and A. So, um, so in our next uh, volume of this series of melodic phrasing, we're going to add in other chords. We're going to add in uh, an E minor, a B minor, and we're going to get a little bit more technical at times, and we're going to start to use more of the neck. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out Volume 3 of the Melodic Phrasing uh, series. It was a pleasure to have you aboard today, and I hope you learned something, and we'll see you in Volume Number 4.